Good morning, guys. I just woke up, obviously, um, and I thought I would take you guys with me throughout my day. Is this a good idea? I have no idea, but I figured I'll just like record myself from the morning to the rest of my day and just, you know, see what that's like. See what that's like. See what that's like. My mind is not thinking at all. Anyway, my days are pretty much filled with me just starting out my morning routine and then getting on my computer and then making stuff for my typology content you know i've been really working hard on making the 16 personality types the profiles for each of the 16 types and everything um that takes a pretty much majority of my day and uh, i used to feel super gross just doing that all day right so i've been getting a little bit more of a routine going so that i don't feel as gross so let's do this okay let's start with making the bed let's go to the gym. I'm gonna just take you guys with me and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do this. You gotta walk me. Okay. Okay. Uh uh uh. Don't move. Wait, Nala wants airtime too. Hi. <laughs> yes, also ignore all the cleaning mess that's going on. I, uh, I'll i sort through it. Okay, I think that's like a whole separate, separate vlog in and of itself. But anyway, today I told you that I was going to show you what I've been up to and kind of give you my opinions and insights about where I am with the MBTI community or maybe MBTI in general. Um, yes, yeah, so I told you guys I was gonna do that. I'm going to do that. Um, let me just take a shower first. Um, let me just eat something really quick and I'll be right back. Also, Becky really wants airtime too, so if you don't mind. Hi, Becky. Okay. Alrighty, so it is 3.30 in the afternoon already and I pretty much spent all this time just totally chilling. I'm like, you know, watching videos on TikTok or watching videos on YouTube, scrolling through Instagram and whatnot. My dog is barking. So I have been doing all of that, being completely 
unproductive. But now I am here making this portion of the video to explain to you guys where I've been, what happened that caused me to completely disconnect from my social media, but also to inform you guys on what I plan to do in the future. So let's get into that part. Let's get into the juicy stuff. So I told you guys just now about how unproductive I was today, about how I was just kind of being mindless pretty much. Well, that mindlessness didn't start just now or it wasn't just a today kind of a thing. It started for a while now, to be honest with you. So it has started probably maybe even a few months before the last video that I posted last year. Like that's how unproductive, that's how mindless I've gotten. And I am usually a very productive person. I'm very like, go, go, go. Um, so if I am not being quick, if I am being mindless in that way, it usually means something is wrong. And from my observations, from my reflection, I do think that that wrongness is, or that wrongness that I feel is that I just simply don't enjoy personality type anymore. It's not that I don't believe, or, or I should say, it's not that I don't enjoy personality from Carl Jung, or so, uh, how do I explain this? I like learning about the cognitive functions and reading about these patterns of consciousness that we can see in our everyday life. I think that's pretty amazing. You know, I think when we step out into the world and we interact with people and it's so cool to really truly see these patterns, you know, I, I think that was probably the most fascinating part about Carl Jung's work. Um, it wasn't necessarily about using personality typing to get to know yourself because for me personally, I don't need a personality typing system to know myself. Sure, I mean, it's fun, but for the most part, I'm a very reflective person. I usually know myself pretty well. And so, you know, as I posted these videos, I started to get a lot of feedback from people saying you're not that type and uh, you should get a typing session because you're totally an ESFP and stuff like this. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm very appreciative that people were keeping me in check here. But at the same time, I think that after a while, it does take a toll on you because of how carried away things can get when it comes to calling people out or just just straight up being nasty. You know, I think that I'm at the state where I don't want to be this way and I don't like putting this energy out there. But as of right now, aside from the content that I produce, because I'm pretty conscious of trying not to do this, I do think that the personality type or the MBTI system in general tends to, I have a theory that it was created by people who felt different in life and instead of doing their own self-reflection, they created a system to organize other people and almost put them in categories while excluding themselves and making them feel special. And I think this kind of a theme of using personality type to make yourself feel special is quite evident. Maybe on a subconscious level. I'm not saying that they're even doing it consciously, but on a subconscious level, everybody I feel like is trying to be like, well, I'm special and you are not. And that is, on a subconscious level, the reason why they're using personality type system. It's like, I am a believer that the energy you put out into the world is the energy that you get back in. So on a subconscious level, if there is even a slight hint of I'm special and different, and then you create content, you are going to leave little hints and traces of that self-importance in your content and put other people down in a subconscious manner. And it creates this ugly cycle where if you want to be special, then you have to be like me. And eventually you create a whole community of these special people and these special people end up bullying other people who are not as special as them. And unfortunately for me, I think I was on the bullied end where I was pretty much ousted. 
if I do say so myself, I do think I was pretty much ousted. They're like, you know, we don't really care about your insights. Your insights kind of conflict with our way of understanding. So um, by plus you don't really have that much of a following anyway. So toodaloo. And I'm just sitting here like, okay, well, I guess I'll just kind of do my own thing. And so, and that doing my own thing part was really just me disconnecting from the community altogether and just working on myself, getting in touch with the things that I love to do before joining this community. You know, I don't want to think of the type community in that way, but it has become that kind of a space. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. It may have even gone to the point where I was that bully at some point, you know? So, you know, I'm not gonna deny that in myself. Like I'm not gonna deny that I have or could have those evil tendencies in myself. So I think when it comes to the rest of my typology journey, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna continue creating my own content for those of you who like fresh insights. I really appreciate it if you guys could lend me a, lend me an ear, I guess, you know, and just hear me out as I provide these new insights or share these new insights and hopefully you guys can jump in on this conversation too and provide your insights. Hopefully there are, they are reasonable ones. You know, I don't want this anecdotal evidence, by the way, I hate anecdotal evidence. I hate when people tell me that their reason for their argument is because they read it somewhere or from their personal experiences or from talking to some well-known established person. Like, okay, but that established person which by the way, I'm sure there's a lot of paraphrasing of established persons going on in the community too. But for you to use that established person as a reasoning, well, that that's not even a reasoning, you know? That's literally not a reasoning. Yeah. Quite frankly, it just means you don't know what you're talking about. So yeah, I'm gonna stop hating. I'm gonna stop hating while I can because I don't wanna go down that negative route. I don't wanna uh, put that energy onto you guys either. That was not my intention at all. But yeah, thank you guys so much for staying subscribed to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I am still working on the 16 personality type profiles, okay? Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just publish it as the insights come to me. I'm gonna publish it um, not all in one batch because that's, that's what I was thinking. I was like, should I just post it all in one batch or is it okay if I just go, you know, as they come. I think I'm just, just go as they come. And in, in the meantime, I'll talk about type, but it'll be kind of like this, just totally chill, you know, spend the day with me so we can really talk and you guys can get to know me as a person. I really want to just have an open space for those of you guys who I've typed in the plat, for those of you guys who I have typed in the past, please leave your comments down below or reach out through me through uh, social media and I'll respond. But yeah, you know, let's have these discussions. Let's do it my way. And I guess that's only gonna happen on my channel. I refuse to create personality systems. I refuse to write a stupid book. I refuse to do podcasts pretending like I know what I'm talking about, like bleh. <laughs> Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys again. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I'll see you, bye.